hundreds of cameras in a Gwinnett County neighborhood are being credited with helping to find a driver who police say hit and killed a man a week before his birthday. Channel 2 Gwinnett County Bureau Chief Matt Johnson's on Peachtree Industrial Boulevard. Police say the driver thought he did nothing wrong. The whole thing's on video. We, we, that's how we found your car. A Duluth police officer spent all day using more than 300 city cameras to help find a man now charged in a deadly hit and run crash. Police found and confronted the suspect next to his damaged car that had a blanket over it the same day of the crash. I can place you up behind the wheel driving the vehicle when the crash happened. It was just after midnight on Monday on Peachtree Industrial Boulevard where police say 26-year-old Cassius Francois died walking along the road. He was less than a mile away from home when someone hit and killed the rising entrepreneur a week before his birthday. The driver left the scene but left a clue for police. They launched that investigation by closing the road down and gathering uh, vehicle parts that were left at the scene. An investigator linked that car part to a Nissan Sentra. They ran the make and model with the help of more than 350 city cameras. Police say a similar car drove into apartments three miles away shortly after the crash. That led police to the suspect, who told officers he thought he hit a deer. It, it was a person. Una persona. And you, you hit them. And then you, you kept driving. Police arrested and charged 45-year-old Nadar Valon Bellan within 17 hours of the crash. We got a look inside the Duluth Police Real-Time Crime Center where even more monitors are being added by the end of the year. The hope is to have even more ways to find the people police are after. Without our cameras, um, this you know person may still be out there. Matt Johnson, Channel 2 Action News. So police told Matt the man does not have a valid license on top of his homicide and hit and run charges.